Hello and welcome back to episode 30 of Digimon Emerald Version. Hard to believe we've cranked out 30 of these already, but apparently we have. So, when we last left off, we had gone through this very arbitrary contest that we got. Uh, it did not go well. We'll kind of leave it there. But, now we are in Lily Cove City, and it appears we found some plot, so we're just going to roll with it. See what Timok was up to. This whole world wide becomes ours, Timok was. It will be happier. Place for Digimon 2. Keep saying these things, but I'm not sure. Our honeymoon, we vowed to see as many rare Digimon as we can, so we're delighted to see a rare Digimon as soon as we arrive. I mean, we are totally happy. Well, wow. we just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a dragon type Digimon flying way up in the sky. Do cool Digimon like that live in the Hoenn region? Well, it came from somewhere. I was taking a relaxing snooze at the seaside inn to the sound of waves, and someone stole my Digimon. Who's the abductor? Is it Team Aqua? Alright, so that with rare Digimon on the loose, that reminded me that I don't have any Digiballs at the moment, so let's see if we can find the market. Up on the cycle here to save some time. Maybe no market. There's our distinguished rival. Maybe this is like a market store. Department store, there we go. Alright, let's see. What are you up to? Oh, hey! Rom, are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've also caught a lot of Digimon and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising your Digimon properly, Rom. I'll, b I'll battle with you so I can show you. Show me your Digimon, Rom. Yes. The Digimon I raised won't be beaten by your Digimon, Rom. Okay. So. Maybe. Let's see. She's got four things. See Saruman. I feel like it wasn't that long before we took this over. We beat her before, but if she needs to be taught again, we'll show her that my Digimon are just fine. Thank you. Well, that's just rude. Stingblade. Cesarmon. Alright, now give me a real challenge. What else you got? Kuwagamon? Okay. You know what? Let's U-turn and put something else in. Boom. Oh, what? Put in something fire-related? Not that I guess... Earth Growlmon's probably more in the dragon stage than the fire stage at this point, but whatever. Whatever helps us win. Look at this fire punch. Boom! Sorry, Kuwagamon. Some nice stats. Beautiful. Oh, she's using one of my favorite things against me. This is a horrible match, so we're gonna flip out. Then we'll put in Mach Galgamon, that should be a decent Decent match, brute force versus whatever Blackmon happens to be. Right, do the Goga Tornado. I was not expecting a one hit there, by the way. I figured that it would be two. Let's do this force palm thing. I feel like that you think it's awesome. Yeah. So we're making short work of May. She seems a little under leveled, honestly, at this point. Ikakumon. Uh, what do I want to do? You know what? Let's let's just try it. 
Sherman. Probably not going to be great, but let me just try something. Let's just see what this like Shiver Barrage thing does to this. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> That's okay. As long as he can survive, she, whoever can survive one more turn, we'll flop, flop it out. Get a nice little bump there. Thank you for your service. Uh, who else? Let's try, uh, let's try this. Ice on ice. But we won't use a nice move. We'll use this wolf claw move and see how that does. Should be pretty good, I think, honestly. Well, not after he used to growl on us. But it would have been really good. It would have been something for, like, the record books. Boom. Eh. Maybe not for the record books. Let's do this. Let's get him some nice HP. Again, I'm kind of keeping him around because he will evolve pretty soon. I think he's level 45. And frankly, he's just a ton of fun. Mud shot. Almost any of his moves should beat him, but mud shot's usually pretty good. May. You disappoint me. I remember the battle I had with you on Route 103. That battle helped you become this strong, didn't it, Ron? He's just trying to take all the credit. Like, I did this, not you. I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. I've got a decent group of Digimon and my Digidex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. Ron, what are you gonna do? Collect all the gym badges and take on the Digimon League Challenge? Well, while you're collecting badges, Ron, I'm going to work on my Digidex. I'll complete it before you. It's all about competition with her. You shine to this region. I plan to stay here a while. Perhaps we can meet again. I've forgotten your dad's little dick. Dukes, I do hope for a rematch. So, tons of people come through on the DigiNav, and I honestly don't remember who basically any of them are. And some of them have asked for rematches and things, but... There's so many in the nav that I honestly just don't know. So, back to our original goal of acquiring some Digivolves. Oh, let's see. So the dev made it so the, the normal marts have tons of stuff, so... Oh, you can buy, you can buy a Master Ball? What? Can you do that in the original game? If not, thank you. A lot of money, though. Okay, here's our normal... Just get a bunch. Why not? Just to have them. Come on. Let's see what else is in here while we're here. See if he made any adjustments. Nah, nothing. I never really use those. I'm sure there's some people that would like swear by them. And if you do swear by them in the comments, kind of let me know like why you like them so much. Like the little in-battle stat boost things. You got. Oh, we got moves, hyper beam. Ooh. Oh wow, there's a ton here. Frost breath. They're all cheap too. Three thousand dollars. Six thousand for fire blast. You know, uh, just in, in case that breaks the game for us, having like so many powerful moves, we will refrain from that for now. Maybe when I get Cyber Drummond, I will get, buy him Hyper Beam if he can use it. Got the just stuff for your little hideout. Again, if you want an episode on like the hideouts, where I decorate it in a bunch of Pokemon swag, let me know. 
not at the top of the list, but if people want it, we'll give the people what they want. Don't they have set dates for their clear-out sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. Riveting. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. When I see the wide world from up here on the rooftop, I think about how nice it would be if there were more than just one of me so I could enjoy all sorts of lives. Of course, it's not possible, Giggle. I know, would you be interested in having a Digimon Learn Substitute? Um, not at the moment. The Digimon can make a copy of itself, you, you know? Yes, but not. I don't want to use it on any of these current things. Okay, spending machine. You know what? We'll buy a few soda pops in fresh water. Get some lemonade. Alright. You know what? Let's take the elevator. Which floor? They have like a con an elevator concierge. That's so classy. We've explored probably far more of the random emerald mechanic things than I was expecting. So, let's see if we can find the plot. What's this? A Max Repel, nice. Gotta find out where they're taking all these stolen Pokemon, Digimon. Hey you, don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just listen to me. Right. So we're obviously not going to follow orders. What are you up to? There, Betamon. Leap out of the water now. Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training, so, you... so can you like get lost? Wait, the cave in the cove. Let's see what's going on in here. What? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to snatch something important. Where did he go? Do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? We want Team Aqua. Oh, I missed a detail there. What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss is in here. He's on his way to Mount Pyre at Route 122. Really? Okay. So, back to Route 122. Oops. Crabmon. More like crab dinner after we're done with him. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. I want to just check the map quick. Where's our Mount Pyre? Okay, so he's down here. So, hop back on our sickle here. See what's going on. Oh, what? What's that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. Can't rest. Again, I try to not put myself in scenarios where rest would be something I would need to do, much if at all. So it doesn't seem like there's a whole ton going on in town. What do we got here? Motel. It's the contest hall. So we'll make our way back. Already beat a lot of these people. Oops. Let's see what we got. Alekmon. Yildramon. Yeah. Not that I expected literally anything different, but hey. Oops. That ended. Ooh, Pixiemon. That's something different. 
I like the sprite art. This melon's kind of a fun one. See how all this really goes. If we can catch him, we will. No luck. We'll get him later. 500, that's good. It must be a harder to find thing. Aru Kenimon. The ultimate villain. Go this route. That does not bode well. Oh, did okay. Stingblade. Oof. Anything should be this. Right. Pyildramon's next form does not come for, I think, till like level 99, honestly. And then it becomes Imperial Dramon Dragon Road, I believe, which is like one of the top Digimon, period, honestly. So that's gonna be quite a while. Oh, what? Mummy Mon? Nice! I'm not sure if we've seen him before. I don't think we have. I would really like to get him. Which probably means trying something different. Sherman. Give that a go. Try to use something light. Doesn't affect him. Uh, oh. That I was not expecting. Now he's gonna poison everything. Not great. Mummy's mummy. <laughs> what? Man, he's really trying to poison everybody. That's why I can't swap. Come on. Well, let's try it. So I bought all these ultra bells, right? Mummy Mon's a very strange, wacky character in the show. But um, his design is so cool. Yeah, he got it. He's like introduced in like a blue trench coat too. And then when he's finally revealed, it's a great character design. So he like ripped off the coat and then he's this character. But all you see before is like the eyes. Have the grim ability of summoning and commanding to see souls to its bidding. Despite this, it has a leisurely demeanor. As one would. Summoning the dead is just perhaps overrated at this point. <laughs> Alright. Go to Mount Pyre. Uh oh. Dolph Mon. Oh, it's level, level 6. No. Won't waste your time watching me taking on level 6s. Or level 12s. Here we go. Mount Pyre. Could be a lot of cool psychic things in here. Digitamaman, famed restaurant owner. I'm sure I've talked about that before. Mm. 
If we keep him alive, we'll try to catch him. Why not? It's not very effective, but it is a cool shot. So it's a little effective. Let's see what this lady's up to. Did you come to pay your respects to the spirits of departed Digimon? You must care for your Digimon a lot. So much. I was thinking if I do another uh, Pokemon to Digimon mod that in this one I've really been working on like diversifying characters and stuff. I was thinking like what if I did a run with just like my one partner Digimon like in the ship. So like I'd be one kid with one Digimon and just do the playthrough that way and see if I could do it. Almost like a low-key Iron Man run of run at it. But then it was occurring to me that I would at least need a few others to cover HMs and stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> it's a developing idea. And heavily in the research and development camp. So I actually have a ghost mod already, but it's level 10, so I figured that one would give me a nice leg up. This is the final resting place of my zigzagoon. I cherished it. Well, that sucks. You should have just taken them to the Pokemon Center rather than burying them in the ground. <laughs> Alright. So we got out here. Dream Eater. Ooh, that, that has some interest to me. Can maybe get, see if I could give that to Lady Devimon or something. Again, I'm mildly concerned that the TMs will make this entirely too easy. So I've kind of been going pretty low-key on them. But... You know, it can be fun to just absolutely obliterate something. What's this guy up to? Haha, <laughs> too bad for you. If you came earlier, you would have had to battle the wimpy Team Magma. But since you arrived now, you have to take us, take on us toughies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, and this might be true in real life as in this game, that if you refer to yourself as a toughie, you may in fact quite possibly are not that tough. This is largely a conjecture on my part. I have not ever been in fights, so I wouldn't know. But as someone who would probably laugh if someone said, I'm a toughie, I probably wouldn't be very wouldn't be very concerned about whatever that person might do to me. Batman rocking the boost. Erg, I should have let you take on Team Magma first. That, I was talking about something else at the time, obviously, but that Woodmon actually looked really good. Shellmon. Shellmon's a cool design. Bicycle Spear, that's cool. And apparently lethal. So high marks to Shaman. Oh man, what? Yeesh. That's insane. Well, if you came here to watch me struggle, there you go. Almost lost by Yildramon. Uh, Galgamon. Shouldn't be as vulnerable as this. Good. Also, that time it'll make it twice. Do Goga Tornado. The more I learn about Digimon and watch more episodes of the show, Galmon, in the Galmon line, honestly, 
has become one of my favorites. I figured somewhere down the line I'm gonna... So I've bought a few packs of Digimon cards and um, I got Galmon as one of the cards and he just he looks really cool. His design's really good and it's a character I've started to really like. And then Galgamon is like wolf form. It's very nice and cool looking. Mach Galgamon looks cool. And then Mirage Galmon looks awesome too. Yeah. Damn, this thing's got moves. Try this one last time before we change results. Nice. Finally beat him. <laughs> and we got him close to level up. Dual goal. New idea. So probably should have brought something with nice electrical powers, but we didn't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda leave. <laughs> We have a very water heavy team, and then just like an absolute like missile bomb worthy uh, fire choice, fire dragon. So, probably not fantastic matchups, but hey, sometimes it's fun to just muddle through with Digimon you really like. Also, and it's been sort of a, a recognized blind spot that I've just done nothing about, where. Um, I don't have any really strong electrical things. I don't know, the only things that electric things I've come across really are main mons, which are the little, uh, kind of electro little lightning ball things, and those aren't that interesting to me, so just kind of let it sit. At some point, I will get something that's electric. Ooh. That looked weird. Alright, come on guys. You got this, they're only level 36s. Quatmon's flipping out. Perfect. You guys have got this. It's one Weedmon. Weedmon, man. Oh, he has more. Nohimon. Oh, that's weird. It's like a scarecrow. I like it. I dig its weirdness. Oh, don't like that, though. Do not like that. Okay, whew. Wap Racket, come on. Do something real. Alright. Let's mud shot that thing and then we'll claw this one. See you later, Weedmon. Thankfully that missed. Nightshade is just one of those moves that like Nightshade Dream Eater. Like basically the entire moveset of Gengar from the original Pokemon games. Like fairly permanently scarred about. Uh nah. This fog's making a lot of moves miss. Don't curse my man. Woodmon has a move called Knock Off. Very funny, I like it. Right, come on. 
With Woodmon, we can actually flip out more Gromon. If we have to. I don't know if this will be a boss battle with Archie. I would imagine so. Don't love that. So we'll get him out of there. Hmm. I don't want to waste the health of some of our other things. So we'll pivot a little. Hopefully that knocks him out. And then we'll just have this last Woodmon, which Asuramon should be pretty good against, honestly. Hope for the best kind of idea. Let's do this. Mm, don't want to waste that in case we need it at some point. Ah. Ooh! Nice. I'd hate to be critical. I wouldn't hate that. I would enjoy that very much. Right, what else we got? Boom, see you later. Going to mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. If you want to join Team Mako, bet. That badly, we can consider it. I feel like she's not in the place to offer me. Offer me that. I'm gonna see if I have any hyper potions kicking around. Just bump up a little before we go into our next, I'm assuming, pretty big battle. Right. Soda. Uh, um. Then we'll give the fresh water to Mock Galgamon. And we're probably in a pretty good spot now. Up Watmon, start the battle. And then bring the heavy hitters off the bench. And see what we got here. Archie, Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us. But we also got what we wanted. The Red Orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have in my position. <laughs> Now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Uh-oh. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men going to do, the two orbs? Oh yes, it was Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first. Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine exactly what it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. Magma Emblem. Well. Let's see what that is. A metal-like item in the same shape as Team Magma's mark. Mount Pyre is where we common spirits of Digimon that are passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Digimon must find their solace here. Is it a coincidence that you are here? Did you hear out my tale long ago? No. Since we're focusing on the Digimon side of this, we're not going to go too, too crazy into the lore of the Hoenn region. I'm sure there are Pokemon Emerald versions that really deep dive the lore, if you'd like to know about it. I thought that was going to end up in a big battle. There's this Nohimon. Let's see if we can get it. Scarecrow, Falcon Tamer guy. I like his like sarcastic, angry looking bird. Bog is deep. Um, let's just see what this does. Nothing. <laughs> I think that might be a good thing to try then. That should be enough. Perfect. Ooh. 
Ion. Boom. Got it. Excellent. This haunted scarecrow confounds foes with both physical and ethereal attacks. It does evolve via level up. I would love to know what that devolves into. Probably a refrigerator with a machine gun. In fine Digimon fashion. We'll head back to Lily Cove. Or actually, we'll explore this a little more and then we'll wrap the episode. And then in our next episode, we will check out Lily Cove and see what's gone on. Because I assume it has something to do with that cave. Mm, yeah. These ghosts and stuff are really bummed me out. Hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me. You're rude. I think it's rude to trigger a battle inside a graveyard. Where everyone's mourning their dead Digimon, whereas I'm adding more to them. But everybody's different, right? Mud shots usually get pretty good against flying things. Nope, maybe not. Kazumon. Try to surf. Sorry, Pokemaniac Mark. Digimaniac? Pokemaniac? Digimaniac. You are an unfamiliar sight. Depart before anything befalls you. It's gonna be one of the psychics, I think. There she is. Hexmaniac Lee would like to join. Would like to battle. Phantom on. Uh oh. So we're gonna surf this and hope. And just hope. <laughs> Again, the things that make me the most nervous are the, the ghost psychic types from, I guess, uh, <laughs> to put it in its absolute most mildest sense, childhood trauma, I guess. Job, Guapman, you hung in there. Beautiful. Mud bomb? Yeah, I want to learn a move called Mud Bomb. What does it do? It throws a blob of mud to damage and cut accuracy. I feel like I don't use bulldoze very much. That really cuts down our moves, though. Oh, we'll do it. Why not? There's Poco Centers all over the place. Learned Mud Bomb. Sweet! Fix Maniac Lee. You're durable. Why are they so angry? I'm terrified. I'm terrified too, like why are y'all trying to kill me in a sacred resting place? Oh, speaking of Galgamon. Let's try this mud bomb move. See what we're working with. See you later. Actually, it did pretty good. Oh, that's not good. That's my bad. I forgot he was at one health. You know what? I'm really curious to see what this digivolves into, so I'm gonna keep rocking with him. Oh, rock smash. That should be some nice damage. Ooh, no, it didn't. Odds of him being able to move are very low. Yep. <laughs> Not much he can do there. Um, hmm. Let's try to ride it out, I guess. Come on, fight through it. Fight through it. Keep the faith always. Never give up. 
lost my wits. Yeah, you did. You really did. I think I have a revive. I'll bring back Guatman. Again, I want him to digivolve. Mm, let's see. Perfect. Rohita on a dare. If I show her how cool I am, she'll fall for me. I know it. I know. I'll cream you and show her how cool I am. Okay. How about you win first, local boy? The young couple Dez and Luke would like to battle. Gargomon and Teriamon. Gargomon and Teriamon's champion form. I think it's true. Terurimon? Terurimon, maybe? Whatever it is. Try to wipe it out. I believe that is Lotmon's champion form. Commonly unseen. Ooh, man, close. Ah, you endured. That's why I left. Dang. Relax. Sorry, we're Guru Ramon. Oop, level up. Nice. Crunch. Um, let's see what the stats on it are. 80, that's good. Crunches are sharp fangs, maybe lower special defense. I think I might have to get rid of Howling Blaster. Or should I get rid of Ice Fang? I think I'll have to get rid of Howling Blaster. I've got too many, too many five. PP moves. Crunch is also, it'll be a nice thing to add. At least until he digivolves. Sorry, kids. Ah! Viamon. I had Viamon before it was cool. Out of there. Who's this guy? Ooch. There are holes in the ground here and there I didn't notice and took a tumble from the floor above. Is your elevator mechanic? Oh, she didn't want to battle. What's her deal? Memories of my darling Skitty. My eyes overflow thinking about it. It's really sad, honestly. Aha, this is no place for children, least of all you. I'm a grown man. Another psychic. Psychic Kayla Calamon. Ooh, that's a good Calamon, too. Uh, let's just see what we can do. If he ever attacks, he's going to have some nice stat boots on him. Ooh, terrible. Oh, that's alright. Let's get him out of there. Going. Not Galgamon. Do the force palm move. Probably some, like, trauma, traumatic bomb hit would help. Metronome. Aurora Beam. What? Come on. Nice. 
Yes. Ooh, nice attack boost too. What else you got, Wizard Mon? Wizard Mon was a very, very powerful character for us early on. To see if I have to revisit him at some point. Perfect. What else you got? Tapir Mon. Tapir Mon. He's known for putting my entire team to sleep while I was grinding. It's actually quite brutal. It's not very effective. Oi. Psychic moves, I'm telling you, man. Give me my health back. This is going to turn into a, being a very long episode, but I want to get through Mount Pyre before we stop, so it's going to be a little longer. Why have you come here? To pay respects to the dead. Pokemon breeder Gabrielle. Oh, she has six, man. Happiest thing there. Put some war ground on. In green. Let's go Pyro Blaster. Ooh. Should be a one shot. So I'm talking about. What else you got? Oh, using our own friend against us. Aguman, I have been working on in the background and will rejoin our team. Probably not in this week's episodes, but next week's episodes for sure. And he, we left him at Greymon. And I don't think he's going to be Greymon for very long after we bring him back. It's the only spoiler I'm giving, but... <laughs> if, if, you, if you've been paying attention at all to how they kind of run the series, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But rest assured, he is still around and not, would not ditch my buddy for anything. And I think I've said in other episodes, I've grown to like Agumon more. Like, I always grew up liking Gabumon more. But, um, Survive made me like Agumon. So he's definitely still out there. And to get Omnimon, we have to have one or the other. So, Gabumon or Agumon. I've just been working on both of them, because I like them both. But I believe at level 99, either one of them will digivolve into Omnimon. This has just got the whole cast of Season 1 Digimon. Dragon Breath, that thing. Oh, what? Who this could be. There she is, Bioman. So I don't know why this tamer hates Tentamon. I think Tentamon and Gatomon are the two we're missing. Flamethrower. Ooh, that could be a good thing to know. Powerful fire attack that may inflict burn. I think we have to say goodbye to Pyro Blaster. Sorry, but uh, honestly, he's going to be switching to Gallantmon in the near future, and the attacks will probably be very different. That was amazing. You're a very special trainer. I'd like to see your Pokemon when they grow up some more. Please, I need to see your Pokenav. Gabrielle, the Pokenav. 
All right, so this is actually getting to be a little long, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up here, and then in our next episode we'll finish exploring Mount Pyre, and then we'll head back to Lilico. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far.